Hi everyone, uh, this is the last pack for um, for the academic year. It's only two lessons, well technically it's free, but this third one here is down as self-study, uh, for just in case we run out of time, so we'll get bids anyway, so uh, it's kind of like free but one at home. Right, so this is binomial. So the binomial you've done so far only works for uh, expansions with a positive whole number, you know, like x plus 1 cubed or something like that. Bit, oh, oh, move that, away. Move that, like that. Um, so this one does for, for anything really. Right, let's have a look what it says here now. So it says a1 met binomial expanded powers only valid when n is a positive integer. So you have like, I don't know, 3x plus 2 to the power of five. That's what it works for. Just boards out the line. Just gonna pause and re set the board. Right, back again. So we have this formula which we've used. Now we've got this nicer formula, which is one plus nx. And it comes from just rearranging the formula we've got. Now this is a formula that's in the formula booklet. We tend to go up to x squared, but some ask for x cubed. Now there is a pattern for doing it, but the x cubed one will be n, n minus 1, so this reduces down by 1, which is n minus 2, over the bottom bit goes up, so it'll be like 1 times 2 times 3, and that'll be an x cubed on there. So the formula booklet is missing that, but we do go up to x cubed quite a lot. Now the important bit for this formula is that that has to be a 1 there. So it says the first term in the bracket must be a 1. We've got this bit here that says it's okay as long as my x value is between plus or minus 1. So it's like a minus 1 is less than x is less than 1. And the reason for this is that we use it for an approximation. It's how your calculator works out the square root. It doesn't kind of have a magic table of square roots. It uses a binomial approximation to make it. So, but the x value it uses when it subs in has to be really small to make it work nicer. Right. So if it says, if n's a positive integer, the expansion is finite and exact. So if I had x plus 1 squared, I know I've got three terms. One power went up from 0 to 2. One power went down from 2 to 0. It was stuck, and that was it. That's the way it works. Uh, but if it's not, you never get a point where your power is 0. So it becomes an infinite one. This is what we've got. And it talks about the convergence here and about the approximations. Right, so let's have a look at this equation here then. So it wants to, up to include the x cubed term. Now that's the fourth term along. There. Right then, so I've got 1 plus 2x to the power minus 3. So using the formula, which is up there, it's 1 plus nx, so 1 plus n is minus 3, and x is a 2x. So it's 1 plus nx, so n is minus 3, x is 2x. So, the formula of it, 1 plus nx, then it's plus n, n minus 1, x squared over 2, so plus n, n minus 1, so that's going to be minus 4, 2x all squared over 3, and then I've got this cubic term, which is in the formula of the n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed over 3, 2, 1. Do 3 times 2. 2 times 3, 3 times 2, whatever you want. So n is minus 3, n minus 1 is minus 4, n minus 2 is minus 5. 2x two cubed over 3 times uh, Oh, that should be 2 there. Where's that 3 come from? It's me thinking of the next one. Oh, I'm so sorry. 3 times 2 there. 
And this goes on forever. Blah, blah, blah. So 1 plus 2x to the minus 3. So I've got to think about this now. Really careful. I've got a 1. Now, ideally, use your calculator because people stuff it up otherwise. So I'm going to make that 2 look like a 2. So it makes it look like I didn't make a mistake and put 3 down by mistake. So minus 3 times 2 is a minus 6x. Then I've got, now people forget, that's why it's important to use your calculator and to put in what you see in your calculator for each term without the x in it. So in my calculator, I do a minus 3 times minus 4 times 2 squared all over 2. Because people forget to square the 2 as well as the x. So I'd say that's going to be a plus 24. And then for this one, same idea. Put what you see in your calculator. So minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5 times 2 cubed all over 3 times 2. Remember that's got an x cubed on the end of it. Uh, so that is, according to the pack, is minus 80. x cubed. Right then. In terms of validness, it's whatever you see here. So it's going to be valid for the modulus of 2x is less than 1. Now what this means is that minus 1 is less than 2x is less than 1. So if I divide through, I've actually got minus a half is less than x is less than a half. So if I use this expansion to work something out, it might want, I don't know, 1 over 1.02 cubed, and your calculator would do this type of expansion and putting x is 0 0.1 into it. And as long as you get your value this number which is small, like this is moderately small, isn't it? Smaller the better, it should work okay. So I'm saying then, if it's working fine between plus or minus a half, but actually, yeah. So, that bit there. But we don't really like this part of it, but it's dead easy. We just rearrange what we see, that's all. Uh, so that's the first example with a bit of waffle about it. There's a question for you on the next page. So please have a go at that one. I'll start writing it out, but don't kind of wait for me, if you know what I mean. So... And that's fine. Isn't it? So hopefully you got that all right. So I'll do another bit for the next example. Bye bye.